Hey guys, welcome to the HitLab hitting development hitting course. <laughs> so, um, our, your instructors are going to be Darren and myself. My name is Jerry Brewer. I'm going to be sending out these webinars every week. It's kind of prep work where you guys will see what's going on, um, and what we're going to be working on, just to kind of give you a little bit of homework, okay? I can punch through this. Alright, so like I said, welcome. You know what we're, what we're trying to do here, we got an eight-week course. We're gonna try to develop some high-level hitters. We're gonna we're gonna try to get you guys better. This is upfront and a warning, you know, what you see us teach you guys may not be consistent with what you've heard before. And you know that that's gonna be a good thing. You know, it may, maybe it is consistent, maybe it's not. Um but um we're we're looking at gonna get good hitters or get hitters better, all right? So we're going to be breaking that down. We're going to be looking at your swim mechanics. We're going to go through your approach. We're working on building your athleticism. These are all very important parts of hitting. You know, inside the swing mechanics, we're going to be trying to improve your swing power. We're going to try to improve your trajectory, hitting line drives, be able to hit the ball in the air, be able to hit in the ground if you want. You know, trying to control our trajectory where we want to hit the ball. And we have an adjustable swing, okay? So here's something I'm going to challenge you guys, and I know very few of you are going to do it, if any. I'm going to challenge you to keep a developmental journal. You know, Get you a little notebook, take some notes, track your progress, see what you're doing well, you know, see what you're struggling at, see what you want to get better. You know, It's a good opportunity to, to log your strength work, just to look back and say, hey, over these eight weeks, what have I done to become a better hitter? All right, so take this as a challenge. You know, Maybe one or two of you guys are going to do this and, and, and make it you. All right, so in week one, we're going to look at this concept, you know, what is a good swing? All right, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to define. You know, there's a lot of good hitters that have different swing characteristics, but, you know, what are we looking for in a good swing? Well, a good swing would have a lot of power. We want to be able to generate some speed and be able to, to knock the ball around. We want to be quick. You know, the ball's coming in pretty fast. We don't want it to take all day, so we got to get this thing moving. The ability to adjust, you know, cover the outside of the part of the plate, up, down, whatever. And uh, like I said, we want to we want to hit a uh, good trajectory. You know, everyone talks about line drives, but you know, how are we going to do it? We want to develop swings that are going to allow us to do this. Okay. So when we're looking at week one, we're going to introduce this this concept of a hand path in relation to the body. Okay. And we really want to use our whole body using the swing, not just an arms. So and we're going to be looking at that and how to make that happen. Okay. So some of the key things we're going to talk about, maybe you guys have heard me talk about this before, but really going to drive them home, is the rear elbow is going to be lower than the hands at contact. We're going to show some pictures in this in just a second, but it's going to be a really important thing. And so from that, we're going to see that the rear shoulder is lower than the lead shoulder at contact. And a big thing for me is we're not going to let you guys cut across the ball. Okay, We're not going to, just going to roll over the ball to shortstop if you're right-handed. You know, that is awful. Okay, so we're going to try to have our swing finishing up our rear shoulder so we're not cutting across the ball. Okay, so what I mean by this by elbow below the hands. Okay, so if we look at Jose Altuve. Maybe you heard of him. He's not a big guy, he's an awesome hitter. You know, how is he doing this? He has a great hand path, a great swing path. And you can see what I'm talking about here. You know, this, this, this rear forearm, you can see his, his hands, his handle is above his, his rear elbow. Okay, and that's going to get his hand path going upwards and it's going to get his barrel path going upwards so he can get some line drives on his swing. Okay, it's a very, very important thing. You can see from the front side to facilitate this, you can see his hands above his elbow. He's kind of got his rear shoulder drop below his front shoulder. So you, you may have heard, like, don't dip your shoulder. We don't want you to dip your shoulder too soon, but by contact, yeah, we're going to be turning over a little bit. Okay, so some of you guys have seen me talk about this, this concept of side bend. You know, when you we haven't done it before, it's uncomfortable. But look at look at a whole, uh, you know Jose Atul right here. He's got some side bend. You know, he's making this happen to be able to get to this pitch. Okay, and in the, the third concept we talked about, you know, finishing up your swing over your rear shoulders. A shot I, ca I caught of him at the Coliseum. You can see how he's finishing the swing up and high, not down by his waist. He's not rolling over the ball. This is a ball he blasted in the left field. Okay. Just some more guys to follow this. You know, look at this the side bend concept. Here's, here's Mookie, Mookie Betts hitting a really low pitch. And you can see the the really big side bend, the really big shoulder angle. He's got that rear shoulder really, really low. Okay, some of you guys may be told just to bend your knees to get this low pitch. Well, that's not how we're going to do it. We're going to teach you how to, to bend through your side and get down there and get on this pitch and really stay on this pitch. Um, here's another one from Chris Bryant. You can really see this. You know, his rear elbow below his hands, hands above his elbow, rear shoulder really um, dropped down into a good side bend. You know, Buster Posey, same concept here. We can really see his rear shoulder, elbow below his hands. Okay, and Again, from the, from the front, a few Giants fans. 
All right, here's Buster. Oh, here's uh, Mike Trout hitting an outside pitch. We can still see his elbow getting below his hands. We can see a lot of his rear shoulder. So this is a very, very common characteristic. It's a good hand path in relation to the body, okay? And there's um, one last one for Bryce Harper kind of finishing up over his shoulder. So I showed a lot of hitters here that have these same characteristics, and there's going to be really important things that we're going to work on in our, in our swings, okay? So one of the things we're going to talk about is the barrel release, okay? And I said this is going to be important in relation to your body, okay? So here he is. We're going to do this drill. Basically, it's the Goldsmith drill where we're going to get in this position, and we're going to hit the ball, okay? And what we can see here is the relationship between... Goldschmidt, Goldschmidt's hands in his in his body. He doesn't just push his hands out in front of his body. Okay, everything is working together. Okay, we don't just throw our hands at it really in front of our body, but allow our body to kind of bring our hands forward. Very very important. So we're going to spend a lot of time on doing this. What I call a barrel release drill, where we get in this disadvantaged position and just figure out how to hit the ball. Okay. You guys should be able to hit the ball, and by the end of this class, you're going to be able to hit the ball hard just doing this. Okay? Here's Anthony Rendon doing the same thing. You can really see the hands don't really get in front of the body until pretty close to contact. The whole body is bringing this barrel forward. So we're going to do things like this. We're going to do this drill. We're going to throw medicine balls. We're going to throw sandbags to work on this rotational power, just like Rendon's doing. You can really see his rear shoulder dropping down there and getting to that position of the elbow below the hands. Really, really important hand path. Okay, and then, you know, here's one for A's fans. I'm sorry we lost Josh Reddick, but he's going to do the same thing here. You can really see the relation between the hands and the body. Okay, and watch his barrel. Look how deep he gets his barrel going. That's going to be something we're going to talk about more, too. So this is just a really good drill to do here to teach our body to move the barrel, to move the handle, and not just rely on the arms. Okay? All right. So week one, like I said, I want you guys thinking about this. You know, come in on Tuesday. We're going to do a big intro. You know, bring your developmental journal and think about these questions. You know, think about your own swing. How can my swing allow me to let the ball get deep? You always hear coaches say, let the ball get deep, let the ball get deep. Well, I mean, how are we going to do that? You know, how can our swing do that? All right? This is a concept of some of you, you older guys have talked about. We're going to control the strike zone back to front. If we're going to let the ball get deep, we need to be able to control the back part of the strike zone. Okay? Another question is, how can I use my body to generate power? Okay? How can I use more than just my arms? Okay? And then how can I adjust my swing based on pitch location? All right, so think about these three questions. Come in, you know, have questions about these questions, and we're going to go through this stuff and figure it out and work to get better. All right? So like I said, when you come in on week one, we're going to do an assessment. We're going to look at your swing on video. We're going to get some exit velocity stuff. If you guys bring a USB memory stick, we can you can take your video home and look at it and track it. You know, We'll save it on the computer so you guys can, ch can check it over time. We're going to do some conditioning work. We're going to learn to use our body to generate power. And we're going to do some hitting drills to work on these concepts. What are our concepts? Is hand path, the concept of getting the elbow below the hands, not cutting across the ball, finishing at the shoulders, and using the body for power, not just arms. All right, guys, we'll see you on Tuesday. Get ready.